Hey guys, Kush here with Exoscribe TV, and today I want to talk to you about why you shouldn't wear wrist wraps. So for those of you who don't know, wrist wraps are uh, the, you know the wraps that you see people put around their wrist that wrap around the bar to increase grip strength uh, or grip capabilities. And uh, it, it kind of makes sense why people would want to use it because if you're doing a back workout or a you know pulling workout where you're doing pull-ups or rows and you really want to focus on those back muscles, logically it makes sense that using wraps would allow you to lift more weight or do uh, do more without letting your grip be that limiting factor. But you know. What I want to talk to you about today is, you know, why you want to avoid doing that. So, you know, in, in, for certain circumstances, like for certain athletes who are trying to do certain power cleans and movements that, uh, where their grip is a limiting factor, wraps can be okay. But uh, for most people, not only does it uh, not build your grip strength, so you're, you're kind of avoiding building and strengthening that weakness, uh, but more importantly, what it does is it actually pulls on the joint. So if you think about a wrist wrap, it literally jars the joint. So just like you know, when you go and uh, get chiropractic done, uh, what are they doing? They're jarring the joints. And what does that what does that do to the nervous system? Well, when this chiropractor pops your spine uh, spinal column back into place, it helps the nervous system get more information and kind of relax. Well, when those uh, the spinal vertebrae, when those joints get jarred, it does the opposite, right? And that's that's why we have to keep going back for chiropractic because we keep getting jacked up from sitting in our desk at work and doing all these things. Well, all the other joints are just like the spinal vertebrae. It's the same exact thing. So if I jar my wrist joint and pull on it, it literally creates that same threat response, that same startle response from my nervous system. And my brain, as kind of a defense mechanism, turns on that governor switch and says, I'm going to limit strength and decrease strength. So it actually becomes counterproductive for, you know, for the exact use you're using it for it's having the opposite uh, intended effect so if you're trying to do heavier rows or heavier pull-ups and you get this jarring on your wrist even if it's slight and, and uh, seemingly unnoticeable it's actually going to de decrease your strength by as much as 60 percent uh, so you know all in all the best thing that you can do is uh, in between your sets or during your workout do some uh, loaded carries do farmers walks hold some heavy dumbbells or plates walk for about 30 seconds to a minute or do it based on distance and uh, I really like doing it personally in between sets as like an active rest uh, but that's a great way to increase your grip strength because uh, you know strong grip is really really necessary not only for you know avoiding jarring the joints but it actually helps really uh, push more weight. When you have a strong grip, you actually activate a lot of other muscles in your kinetic chain, and we'll talk more about later about your sling systems, but it actually helps you overall with these different force couplings where the muscles work together to help you lift more weight. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in on Exoscribe TV. See you next week.